Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy AB and today here is a surprise Toy Story video. Today we're gonna be opening and reviewing the Toy Story Signature Collection Duke Kaboom set. only at Target. Now this is discontinued, however, but I got it off eBay at a really good price. I mean, was it a little over $100? Yes, but compared to the other Toy Story Signature Collection toys out there, this was probably the cheapest one I found. Gonna say right off the bat, I do indeed love the packaging. This definitely feels like something Duke Kaboom would have come in. And on the side of the box, I wanted to point out, there's that kid from Toy Story 4, Rajan, who was mad that Duke Kaboom could not uh, launch as high as the commercial set. Right here, he's there advertising the toy really thought that was a nice touch that's the top of the box here is the other side of the box and here would be well the bottom of the box is blank just red but here is the back of the box this includes a deluxe film replica from Disney Pixar's Digital Data, movie accurate detailing, unique film inspired packaging, includes certificate of authenticity. Now that is something, I, like I've said time and time again, that I've absolutely loved about the Toy Story collection line is the little certificate that comes with it. And I love the little design here for Duke Kaboom in that unique art right there. Definitely feels vintage, like he's supposed to be a vintage toy in the movie. So without further ado, let's get Duke Kaboom out of the box. All right, here we go. We got Duke Kaboom with a removable helmet right here. We got a stunt bike right here. Very nice detailing right here. Absolutely love it here. Very nice. That part bends for some weird reason. Do not know why. Maybe I'll, maybe we'll find out in this video when we test him out. And here, of course, we got his little Kaboom launcher, his Duke Kaboom launcher in here. Ooh. I absolutely love that. This definitely feels like it's more movie accurate than the Disney Store one that they released back in 2019 when the Toy Story 4 was releasing. And of course, we got the Toy Story 4 Certificate of Authenticity for Duke Kaboom. This is the second Toy Story 4 signature collection toy I own. First one's Bo Peep, and I'm very proud to be owning this toy. And it also comes with a set of instructions right here that I'm gonna be looking at in a minute. Okay, I've been looking at the instructions and surprisingly, they actually have some helpful hints how to take care of the toy and the accessories right here that I've been reading over, which is pretty interesting because I don't think that Thinkway's ever, you know, done that for any of the other toys. I'm not sure, I haven't seen them on any other toy instructions. Here you can pose Duke Kaboom on his motorcycle with the pegs that are everywhere and you can try some stunts. Can you do it? Yes, I can do it! Closer look at the toy here, I absolutely love his facial features. Definitely feels like he was ripped out of the movie. Cape on the other hand, I'm not too sure how to feel about that. For one, I do not really know if that's a movie accurate material here, but it's honestly really good for uh, what they released here. And I love how, how he can articulate in like several different places. And it's really cool, really helpful to uh, make him pose and stuff. And he's got articulation up here, not at the wrists, I don't think, or the feet. He also has waist articulation right here and his head has uh, i'm too scared to test the head though, for articulation do not know how to feel about the helmet either but when you put it on he honestly looks pretty good with it but part of me thinks that he kind of looks like the helmet's too big for his head which kind of makes it look a little awkward if you ask me the motorcycle is beautiful love how it feels in my hand it feels like this was ripped straight off the screen from toy story 4 and in case you're wondering it has this little peg right here that can make this motorcycle stand by itself without it tilting or leaning the motorcycle and again i do love the duke kaboom launcher here and it ha it absolutely has this unique way of launching him so first you're supposed to like pump up and down slowly here and then when you're ready for him to release you pump down and like pull the handle like you're revving up a motorcycle which is pretty interesting but it definitely looks like they took the idea of revving the handles here like a motorcycle and blowing something up like you see in those old-fashioned uh, action movies all right we are going to be testing out his launch feature so pump slowly Okay, that was a little weak sauce. Darn, I'm starting to feel like Rajan a little bit here. That's kind of kind of sad. Let's try it again. Maybe I need to pump a bit more. Ooh. 
Maybe I, maybe I should have been a little faster with the something. And now, do it! Oh, crap! Let's hope I didn't break him. Nah, I think he's fine. He's fine. That was way better than the second time right there. Hold on. Okay, that was actually pretty cool. I do love the feature now that I know how to use it properly. But just to keep the toy itself safe, I'm probably gonna resist from playing with it. I honestly feel like I'm uh, like I'm 10 years old again. Like, definitely feels like a toy I would have wanted when I was a little kid. It just brings me a little bit of my childhood joy back. Overall, I love the product. There are just a couple design choices that I kind of question here, like the size of the helmet compared to the head. That seems a little off to me and possibly the case. I don't know. Overall, this is an amazing toy. One of, probably one of the best signature collection toys to have been released by itself. Like definitely a toy that probably doesn't even need to be custom bought. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment down below, and please subscribe and turn on notification bell so you don't miss a single video. This has been your boy AV, out. Peace out, Rainbow Trouts.